Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, or in this problem, we're asked to find the vector product of the following two vectors. We're given vector A with a magnitude of 10 directed along the positive x-axis, and vector B with a magnitude of 7 directed 37 degrees above the x-axis in the xy plane. And now we're supposed to find the vector product, which is also known as the cross product. Well, to get a feel of what's happening, let's go ahead and draw those on the xy plane and see what they look like. Here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis, and our first vector is directed along the positive x-axis, so we'll use a different color, and has a magnitude of 10. So here is our vector a, and has a magnitude of 10 directed along the positive x-axis. A second vector, a little bit shorter, is directed at an angle of 37 degrees above that. Kind of like that. This is vector B. It has a shorter uh, distance or a short, shorter magnitude, and the angle theta is equal to 37 degrees. Now we're supposed to find the cross product or vector product. So to find the cross product, we write the following. We say that A cross B will therefore be another vector. Let's call that vector C. Now, what will C look like? Well, C will have a certain magnitude and a certain direction. To find the direction of C, we use our right-hand rule. We point our fingers in the direction of A, curl them towards B, and then our thumb will point in the direction of C, which means that C will be pointing in the positive Z direction coming out of the board. If we were to do it the other way around, B cross A, then our fingers would point in the direction of B, curl them in the direction of A, and then the result would be pointing into the board. So you can see that the direction of A cross B is out of the board, and B cross A is into the board. But we're supposed to find, well, they didn't tell us, find the vector product A cross B. Let's go ahead and put that in, A cross B. So let's find the vector, the product uh, A cross B. We can also find the magnitude of that vector. So we can say the magnitude of C is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the sine of the angle between the two. So we can find the direction of the resultant by using the right-hand rule, pointing in the positive Z direction. We can find the magnitude by using that particular equation. So in this case, A would be equal to 10, B would be equal to 7, and then we multiply times the sine of 37 degrees, which is 0.6. So uh, 70 times 0.6 would be equal to about 42. But that's only the magnitude. That's not really the dot product. To find the dot product, we have to use the following method. A cross B is equal to the IJK components the x, y, and z components of the first vector, and the x, y, z components of the second vector. So in order to do that, we need to find the x and y components of both vectors. Remember, they're in the x, y plane, so there's no z component here. But we can see that the vector a can be defined as being 10 units in the x direction, or in the i direction. If we want to write the i direction, we can do that plus 0 in the j direction. Now for the b vector, that's a little bit different. That's equal to 7 times the cosine of 37 degrees, which is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 times 7 would be 5.6 in the i direction, plus 7 times the sine of 36, that would be 4.2 in the j direction. 7 times 8, 7 times 6, that's correct. All right, so there we have the components of A and the components of B based upon the direction, the orientation, and the angle. All right, now we can plug that in here. We can now say that A cross B is equal to I, J, K, A, X, A, Y, A, Z. That would be 10, 0, 0. And for the B components, that would be 5.6, 4.2, and 0. So to work that out, we get i times the product of 0 times 0 minus 0 times 4.2. So that would be 0 minus 0. Minus j, because we have to alternate signs, so that would be 10 times 0. 
minus 0 times 5.6, so again, there's no components there, plus k times, so here we have 10 times 4.2, minus 0 times 5.6. running out of room there, so make sure that we don't get confused. There we go. All right, which means we don't have an I component, we don't have a J component, but we do have a K component. So this is equal to 42 in the Z direction. And so that would be the product C, which is A cross B. Now, let's take a look over here. We already got the magnitude. We have the magnitude as 42, which is the same what we got over here. And we realize by using the right-hand rule that the direction of that product would be in the z-direction, which is, again, what we have indicated over here. So notice, to get the cross product or the vector product, we can find the magnitude using this equation and then getting the direction using the right-hand rule, or we can simply perform the cross product or the vector product, and we end up with the same result. And that is how it's done.